today we have a Honda. It's an older Honda. It's a Harley 215 SX. It does not have a bag, but it does have a mulch plug in it, so it makes me wonder if it was always a mulcher. Um, when I got it though, it was in fairly rough shape. This is the air filter. It literally disintegrated when I took it out. So, usually I don't do too much of this, but because of the condition, what I'm going to do is inside of here is two cycle fuel. I'm going to spray a little bit in the uh, throat of the carburetor and pull it and see if anything happens. Um, let's see if there's anything that I need to do. I don't know if it's the type where it has a clutch. You just have to pull it. I don't think so. Let's give it a try. So when you do this, you don't want to uh, have the choke on. You want to full throttle. You don't want to have any type of restriction. There we go. The container's running out of fluid. Okay, so it's on full. I think that bale over there is for a clutch. I remember hearing that these had it. I remember working on one before, but anyway, maybe not. Let's give it a try. That's a good sign. Huh. Okay. So, that means that we have a good motor. Um, so, we are going to go over this real quick. A couple things I do notice. Um, the person has the adjustment. These down here have three holes for taller and shorter people. It's off. Um, other than that, the wheels are okay. It's plastic, so it doesn't rust. Might be a good little mulcher. I think this has a dual blades. Could just have the mulching blades, I'm not sure. We'll take a look. Okay, I'll set you up. I will put this back up here and then we'll get started. Okay, you know what? I want to try an experiment. I looked inside that tank and it is bone dry. So I want to take a chance. Let's see if I just put a little bit of gasoline in there. If it will just run. Okay, so put the gas in there. I'll probably have to work with this no matter what, but there is oil. We're going to try first with choke. Let's see what happens. Hmm. That was unexpected. Let's try this again. Maybe it just needs to run a little bit. I doubt it. But, you know. that the car probably isn't all that horrible um, but it is bad enough where it's not going to run without a choke on it okay so for real this time I'll jack it up and bring you back okay here we are um, so 10 millimeter good thing about a Honda is that everything's 10 millimeter reason this machine is like a, an excellent machine but also kind of horrible at the same time. Hondas are great. They're, they'll run forever if you keep everything lubricated and oiled and you know just general take care of maintenance type things. Um, but this one in particular, like this deck, spectacular. It will probably 
last 50 years. Um, the problem with this is so much space you don't have to work on it. Luckily, they put this in here to take the bowl off, or the carb off, but <sighs> that's the one thing I don't like about some Hondas. They don't necessarily allow much working room. Okay, enough of that. Um, it does not look like there is a shut oh a shot off. At all. And this line is just petrified. <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole thing off. Because it's gonna need a pretty good bath anyway. So usually on a Honda there's three ten millimeter bolts on top that takes this off, but this has a Phillips head screw. Pretty sure it just comes off from there, like it clips on. There we go. Cover. Huh. There's the 10 millimeters. So taking Taking these off with an impact gun is fine, but at least on other Hondas, you don't want them on. So when you put them on, you can over torque it, and these bolts actually go all the way down to the block, and you can potentially, um, they won't come off when you, if you ever try to take it off again, it will just pull the whole bolt out instead, and that's a giant pain. Should lift off. Yep. <coughs> hmm. That's interesting. Right here is like a I might have to take two lines. Okay, uh, I'm going to take that off. I need to go get some tools. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is kind of a pain. These cables are kind of in the way. This kind of goes into like a little uh, piece right here, the fuel line. And the fuel line comes out the other side and comes right here. To change it, you're going to take off this little plate. But for whatever reason, can't get it in there. Because <coughs> there's some type of plunger in the way. Where is it? Is it this one? Which one goes there? It should just be a throttle, I would assume. But then if you do no throttle, my plunger's already out. <coughs> How do they expect you to change the fuel line over? There we go. Hopefully this just comes right off. There's the kill wire, I believe. Yep. Just take that off the coil. There we go. Now the carb. <laughs> That's frozen on there. Just a rubber hammer. That's pretty normal. Let's see if we take an extension. Man, 
Man, that is on there. I don't think we're getting somewhere. Unfortunately, I think we're, where we're getting isn't where we want to go. I don't want to mess up any of the gaskets. if I can hit on this. What is this? What's the problem with working on stuff that's been sitting in the rain for years? Okay. It's raining somewhere. But because we don't want to mess up this gasket back here. I'm going to see if I can't walk part of it off. There we go. Actually, that's all I needed. Surprising. Okay. So this is the treacherous part. There's also a spring down there holding it on. Let's take down that spring, or off that spring. Is there a hole? Let's remember, this spring is in the center hole. If I put in the wrong one, I'm blaming you. Okay, so just like all the other Hondas, take off the throttle. Spring. Almost all Hondas and a lot of motors um, come with this little spring that goes in a little hole on the throttle. And that's actually pretty important. What that does is it gets rid of the play in it so it's not um, hunting as much. So I guess you don't technically need it, but it will make the motor run a lot smoother. Choke lever is going to be hard. There we go. I'm just going to take that whole thing off. Um, how does this. Oh, it goes all the way around. Pouring up. Okay. I'm going to. Where was it pouring out from? The throat? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take that off real quick. Okay, so I decided to just take the gas tank off. It's just leaking fuel everywhere. Oh, I'm just going to cut this one because we're not going to need it. It'll leak a little bit that's in the line, but that's fine. Uh, well, the choke functions. The throttle functions. This little plate is stuck on there. I've never seen that much corrosion before on that. Wow. Okay. Um, how hard would it be to take off the clip? Assuming the clip is even a clip. It's like just a giant pile of rust. This is the reason why you don't leave your stuff out in the rain. The deck might be plastic, but everything else isn't. And I don't know about you, but none of my small engine equipment runs well on water. And last time I checked, it rains a lot here. Oh man, that was rough. Um, man, do I even bother with this or do I just try to see if I have another one? 
Oh, why not? We'll try it. We'll get it washed off. Okay, here we are. Uh, I'm not really expecting to see a lot of bad stuff in the float bowl, but I never know. Um, a whole bunch of gas did fall out anyway, so. Oh man, that's not a good sign when even the bolt is like almost rusted in place. Oh, it actually came off. Wow. It's a miracle that even worked. There's literally chunks of rust in there, and I doubt you'll be able to see that, but... Nah. Well, I'll take my word for it. It's a murder scene in there. Okay, will this come off? Oh, that's good. The pin comes off. How's that going for it? A needle, <laughs> with the exception of the rust pieces. Looks pretty good. Um... How do I want to do this? I'm going to take a little carb spray. This gasket wants to come off. I'm going to let it. So this is a normal screwdriver that is not very thick, but definitely not thin. Um, I ground the sides down, that way it can fit inside here, because... Where is the end of it? There it is. Because this is brass. <laughs> I don't even know if this one's going to work. But the jet is brass. And it will gall, I think is the correct term for it. Um, I have another one. Oh, there it is. I'll be right back. I have another screwdriver. It's actually made by steel. It's, uh, it says 000890-2300. I think it's actually made for carburetors. Uh, let's put a little oil in there. This is a little oil can. It has a mixture of acetone and automatic transmission fluid. So, ETF is already very thin. And the acetone just kind of helps it uh, penetrate further. It's great for taking off bolts that are rusted in place. I like this one. Hold your breath, everyone. Oh. Good news, bad news. I think I felt something. Bad news is it might just be in galling. It is. Or... <laughs> okay. What we might do now is I might just put this in the cleaner as it stands I, will this come off? I doubt it oh, maybe so that's half that's one one and a half two two turns in well that's at least a sparkle of good news That's disgusting as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take off this.
this is the idle set screw and it has some dirt on it so good witness mark and here is a idle jet just kind of pop it off on the side it is plastic though so beware it's kind of clean that's a good sign um, okay let's just try it one more time maybe with this screwdriver Is firmly in place. Mm -mm. I don't think I have another one that I would want to try. Um, well, no. I got these. I'm not really sure what they're for. Um, but I saw them on the internet, and I thought maybe it'd be a good thing to have for this exact reason, because they're flat, they're thicker. Let's see if they will work. I think I might have a bigger one. Yeah. just ripping that thing apart. Okay, we're not going to bother. We're just going to put it in and hope for the best. I'm going to put it in a cleaner. It's currently set to 50 degrees Celsius. I usually only do this for 10 minutes. I might put this in for a 20. I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so the bowl is pretty nasty, so we're going to air um, sandblast it, get it nice and clean. Okay, I think that should be a lot better. It's it's definitely pitted, but it's clean. Um, so uh, maybe a little more. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out, bring it back over to the carb, and we'll put it back together. Okay, so got the new fuel lines installed. Just have to put the tank on it, and then um, this is the part I wanted to show. These throttles, I'll just go like this to install. Full. And then a little spring goes in a tiny little hole on the side. And that spring, like I said, keeps it um, at a constant. So it's um, back on going back and forth. And so now we're going to put this back on. Oh, I forgot to put that back on. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a feeling that this is going to run. Let's give it a shot.
if it was. Okay, so I don't know how much of that you saw, but uh, the battery died. But this thing smokes more than Cheech. Um, so we're going to try something. The oil in this is not the greatest, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to change it. But what if um, the mosquito everything outside with all the smoke, so the, it should still be warm. Uh, and I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to put new oil in it, but I'm also going to put engine restore. I'm pretty sure I have some. I don't know if that's the problem, if it's just a worn out cylinder. Uh, it could be a blown head gasket that it could be the problem, because what ends up happening um, is up front here. I'm going to It's going to be trash because no bag, maybe $60. The, this is old, it's 140cc. It's just not going to be worth it. And the drive gear doesn't even work on it. So, yeah, trash it is. Okay, well, have, can't save them all. I will see everyone later and definitely subscribe and like.